needed, you know, more than, than a good run out against a very good opponent. And I said before, like, the risk reward with these guys is, you know, it's not in my favour. This guy, that guy was dangerous, could obviously take a good shot, took a good shot to put him away in the end. And um, he was dangerous, dangerous throughout. So you know, I had to be 100 and switched on and, um, you know, try and put on a good display for the fans. There's a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of boxing fans in here tonight. This is a happy hunting ground for me. Uh, I love it here at the O2. So, um, yeah, I wanted to go out and perform. And uh, I think I did so. So say you get your world title shot, would you like to stage it here at the O2? Yeah, you know, here's minimum, I think, at the O2 arena. Um, if, uh, if Eddie can deliver me a, a world title shot, I'm sure, you know, boxing's on the up and everyone wants, you know, to get behind it. Um, I've got an exciting style and, um, you know, you put me in with anyone, I'm going to make a fight of it and uh, I'm going to keep winning. I'm going to keep knocking them out. So as soon as, as soon as he gets me someone, we'll have it. We'd love to have it here at the O2. And, how, uh, ready, sleep. how ready are, do you think you are for getting this world title shot? No, I think I'm ready, you know. People are going to say, oh, who have you boxed? But it's always who you boxed until you box someone, until you make that last step. So I'm ready to fight anyone. I generally am. You know, people, some people will snigger when I say it, but the guys that I'm boxing at this high level were ranked top ten in the world. I'm putting them asleep. So, you know, I do need to move up. I'm ready to box the best in the world. I'm ready to box the likes of Carl Froch and, and Mikael Kessler. And uh, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a possibility in the near future. With a bit of luck, mm -hmm. I'll get a crack at one of them. And then, um, obviously, hold on, go leave that. I'll, wait, I'll cut it off a little bit. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how we go. Out the two, who, Crocs or Kesler? I'd love to fight, you know, either one of them because they're such, you know, well-known, established world champions. Obviously, two Brits fighting for world titles always a massive draw. If it was back at the O2, it'd be, you know, Hay McInerney probably all over again, and uh, I'd knock him out in two rounds. Not really. <laughs> I kind of some uh, pretty harsh things to say about you in the week, about uh, you going over spying with Mikhail Kessler. Have you got any response to that? Yeah, I've already said loads of response. Um, you know, Cole, um, Cole's probably making a, a mountain out of a you know, Moles Hill here, and uh, I um, had to do what's best for me, and world-class opposition's offering me sparring. You know, I'm going to go and take it. And uh, unfortunately, Cole didn't call me for sparring, so... Mikel was the next best thing. We went out there, you know, I was preparing for a big fight that I have here tonight. And, um, you know, don't worry, Carl, I softened him up for you. You'll see tonight. Yeah, but what did you learn from um, sparring with uh, Mikel Kessler? It just let me know where I'm at, you know. I've sparred um, world champions before, but when I was still, you know, a, a relatively a prospect, still less than 10 fights in me. But now I'm ready and um, I'm world ranked and I'm ready to make a move, so lets me know that I'm there. You know, I come away from that sparring, I'm going to discuss the sparring, but I know that I'm ready to compete with anyone. George, what's it like being back here two years on from the, the Gale fight, obviously? Yeah, it was lovely. You know, I got a great reception. Um, it's great, to, great to see the O2 packed again for a massive fight. It's um, obviously they've got a real treat in store in the main event, but um, it was lovely for myself to be back here. I've got happy memories and. You know, went out and did another, performed another good performance. So, uh, you know, it's a, I'd like to be back here every week. And that shot that caught him, just talk us through that. Yeah, you know, it's something I've been working on in the gym, um, speeding up my, my right hand. It's always been a, a, you know, one of my best shots. And um, you know, when it lands, it's put quite a few fellas asleep now. And um, it's always a similar story. It's happened before in the past. Uh, he sort of opened up his shoulder, exposed his chin. I saw it, I flashed a quick one too. Um, and there was no going back from that. You know, if the referee would have had to be a, a cruel man to let that fight carry on, so uh, no, he was good. Thanks, George, that's what I'm going to say.